Oh. Fights break out at the pumps as $50 gas rationing spreads across America. Biden administration begs people not to panic by as more than 1,000 gas stations run dry amid Russian hack on colonial pipeline. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Today we will be covering the ongoing story of the colonial pipeline that was hacked recently. The first article from May 9, 2021 states, Fears of gas price surge after Darkside cyber attack shuts colonial pipeline between Texas and New Jersey that carries 45% of East Coast fuel. Experts call it most significant assault on infrastructure to date in the U.S. Attack on Colonial Pipeline took place Friday, forcing suspension of operations. It is the country's largest refined products pipeline, running from Texas to New Jersey. The attack is described as most successful assault on infrastructure in the U.S. The world's busiest airport by passengers, Atlanta, is served by the pipeline. As of Sunday morning, the pipeline remains shut down. Americans can expect a surge in gas prices if shutdown lasts five or more days. President Biden has been briefed, federal agencies and a cybersecurity firm have also been called in to investigate the nature and scope of the attack. DHS's cybersecurity and commissioner security agency, as well as other U.S. government agencies, uh, have noted um, there is now a whole of government effort ongoing uh, to work with Colonial Pipeline to understand the intrusion, uh, help them uh, mitigate this incident, and get the pipeline back online as soon as possible. Uh, this is an all hands on deck effort for the US government managing all aspects of this complicated situation. Uh, and we do hope to see progress soon in restoring the pipeline and making sure that we can maintain availability of this critical resource to the American people. So, Rafael, uh, that, that's exactly our understanding uh, that the compromise impacted uh, the uh, victim's business network, um, as noted, did not cross over into the control systems or the pipeline network, and the pipeline itself was shut down out of an abundance of caution uh, to enable uh, the incident response process to take place. Uh, to your point, uh, you know, given uh, the uh, lack of, of, of impact to the control systems network, um, certainly our hope would be uh, that the pipeline will be restored as soon as feasible. Uh, sorry, do you, have, do you have a timing for us? Is this going to be... We do not have a current timing Monday. for it. No. Um, and so this event and the consequences thereof, all organizations should really sit up and take notice and make urgent, urgent investments to make sure that they are protecting their networks against these threats and that their services are resilient if this kind of an intrusion does manifest. So we have no reports today of similar intrusions uh, affecting other entities um, in either this sector or, or other sectors with this consequentiality. That being said, we do know that ransomware remains an epidemic uh, affecting businesses in this country across all sectors, um, whether hospitals, municipalities, state governments, uh, educational entities. And that's why it's so important here that this time it was a large pipeline company. Tomorrow it could be a different company in a different the next article from May 9, 2021 says Biden official warns cyber attacks on U.S. are here to stay after Russian ransomware gangsters Darkside shut down America's largest fuel pipeline. Emergency declaration is issued in 18 states amid price hike fears. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo warned Sunday, this is what businesses now have to worry about. These sorts of attacks are becoming more frequent. Government sources identified Russian hackers Darkside among suspects. Hackers took nearly 100 gigabytes of data out of Colonial's network a day ahead of the pipeline shutdown before demanding a ransom. Colonial has not said whether it is paid or is negotiating a ransom. Emergency declaration allows for fuel to be transported by road to affected states. The third article says, absolute stupidity. Cybersecurity experts condemn White House for breaking with FBI and suggesting private companies could pay ransomware demands as gas pumps run dry amid dark side pipeline hack. And Newberger, Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber, says it is up to the private sector to decide whether to pay ransomware gangs. It's state-sanctioned, or is there suspicion that it's state-sanctioned, or do we just not, don't know where to go? 
this time we assess that Darkseid is a criminal actor, but that's certainly something that our intelligence community is looking into. We recognize that victims of cyber attacks often face a very difficult situation, and they have to just balance often the cost-benefit when they have no choice with regard to paying a ransom. Colonial is a private company, and we'll defer um, information regarding their decision on paying a ransom to them. Would the, the administration offer any advice on whether or not to pay a ransom? So typically that is a private sector decision, and the administration has not offered further advice at this time. Given the rise in ransomware, that is one area we're definitely looking at now to say what should be the government's approach to ransomware actors and to ransoms overall. Coming up and addressing ransomware with great vigor is a key priority of the administration because we're very concerned about the growth in ransomware and the impact it has both on small and medium businesses as well as the state and local governments in the United States and around the world. But cybersecurity experts say handing over cash risks encouraging more attacks. Digital Warfare's James Knight said paying a ransom might be necessary, but it was foolish to acknowledge it publicly. The FBI tells victims never to cave to the demands of ransomware gangs. White House says it is monitoring fuel shortages triggered by attack on Colonial Pipeline. The last article continues, ransomware attack on key Colonial Pipeline is spurring a fuel crisis across the southeast. A brawl broke out at a marathon station on the outskirts of Raleigh as frustrations boiled over on Tuesday. Your buddy in the Honda tried to cut it, like, what are you doing, bro? Wow, yo, she spit on it. Oh! Yeah. But he kicked to the street. In Metro Atlanta, nearly 60% of all gas stations are dry, and 24.8% of all stations in North Carolina are dry. Parker's gas chain in Georgia and South Carolina is limiting customers to $50 worth of gas each. The Biden administration is urging motorists not to deepen the crisis with unnecessary panic buying. The national average price of gas now exceeds $3 for the first time since 2014. Colonial, which is based in Atlanta, Georgia, has not yet said whether it paid a ransom with the hackers. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday denied any involvement with the attack. Do you think Russia is involved? Convoy, I'm going to be meeting with President Putin, and uh, so far there is no evidence based on from our intelligence people that Russia is involved, although there is evidence that the actors ransomware is in Russia. They have some responsibility to deal with this. In my opinion, this hack has caused a huge disruption in service. I highly suggest you get virus protection for your computer. If you live in one of the affected states, please let us know what is happening in the comments below. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.